So in this video, I've decided to edit together some of my clips of me doing stand-up. The thing I used to do before I did this. So please enjoy. One of the clips is from 2019, more recent, and the other clip from 2012, but I've been told that it's one of my best. So please enjoy. Keep it going. <laughs> Sorry, I had trouble parking. <laughs> <laughs> I find it really weird getting welcomed on the stage by clapping. Like, hey, here's something you can't do! Hey! <laughs> if you give me a stand ovation at the end, does it turn into a disability hate crime? <laughs> I know, strictly speaking, this is a comedy night, but I thought I'd bring a bit of magic to the proceedings. Please <laughs> <laughs> work, please work. <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> I assure you ladies, they don't normally take me that long to get it up. <laughs> Stand up comedy. Well that's a good fucking start, isn't it? Been in the business five minutes, already invented my own job of comedy. <laughs> Sit down comedy. Now every year, I um, struggle to find a costume for Halloween. I always think, ghost? No, that's too obvious. You know, can't really sneak up on someone. <laughs> but now Stephen Hawking's is dead. <laughs> and I am from Cambridge. <laughs> I get away with it. <laughs> a cheap jacket, some Billy Bob teeth, <coughs> and an iPad in front of my face. I'm a, I'm a dead ringer. <laughs> I've got the funny voice and everything. <laughs> now I'm gonna I'm gonna shock you all by telling you something. I get a personal assistant paid for by my local council to help me get out and about and be independent and whatever. <laughs> but every six months. They review me. Now, I've had cerebral palsy for 29 years. <laughs> what do they think's going to happen? <laughs> it's, not like, it's not like every time I leave the, I leave the meeting, I go, Yes, I'm all different, I'm here! <laughs> Now, uh, I go to a lot of gigs around the country and I, and I come up against a lot of um, inaccessible venues. Fortunately, this one I can actually get in. I just can't get on the stage and there's no disabled toilet bowl. Cross <laughs> over that little bit. <laughs> so, so I end up pissing in the car park, <laughs> which is as glamorous as it sounds. Um, and it's normally dark and there's me and my carer. And because it, it's normally dark, I um, have a solution for this. And it is. This. <laughs> the, only problem, the only problem is if I put my lights on, it now looks like we're dogging. <laughs> I, I'm actually going to hand turn them off. Um, in case some of you haven't noticed, my left hand does a lot of crazy shit. I say I can't control him, but he does have good taste. So, ladies, if I do grab you warmly by the arse, please take it as a compliment. <laughs> like I mentioned earlier, now Stephen Hawkins is dead. If Cambridge is looking for a new disabled celebrity, you know, just give me a ring. <laughs> I mean, I don't know much about black holes, but at least I don't fuck me carers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be telling you, you'll be real. Good night! I know what you're thinking, Feather. So you're thinking, fuck me, Stephen Hawkins in a makeover. 
No, he's just been on this morning. <laughs> um, have, you, have you ever heard of the phrase, more than a handful's away? Well, literally, it is in my case. <laughs> oh, honestly, when I'm setting the girl up, I'm worried the other one's getting jealous. <laughs> I go to a lot of gigs around Cambridge, and you know what it's like when you're in a crowded room, and the tallest bloke in the room decides to stand in front of you, well, I've got a secret weapon to combat this. It is an advantage being lower down though, especially when the girls come up to you to, you to give you a patronising hug. They're thinking, they're thinking, let's give the poor disabled boy a cuddle. I'm thinking there's one for the wake me. I'm not sure I'm not sure whether the spot that's on him, but in case you haven't noticed, my left hand does a lot of crazy stuff. My family have kindly decided to nickname him Wilf. I like to think it stands for a wife I'd like to find attractive. <laughs> no. Well, I say I can't control him, but he does know the difference between a 50 and a minger. <laughs> so if I do grab you warmly by the arse, take it as a compliment. <laughs> And anyone else excited by the 2012 Olympics? Not really. Not really. Me neither. Well, I am excited by the Paralympics. Well, more accidents, really. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? You get end up in a wheelchair. <laughs> I went to the job centre the other day. Fuck me, that's a depression place. I, I had to go there just to prove a miracle hadn't happened. And I, was, and I was still disabled. And the woman behind the counter said, had the audacity to ask me, are you disabled? Fuck me, love, what do you think this is, a plastic accessory? I went for a job recently. It was actually for the BBC. They're looking for a new disabled presenter. Or oh, they're looking to tick another box. One of the two. Well, well, judging by this performance, I will not be presenting CBeebies any time soon. <laughs> when I'm chatting up the ladies, I know it's unbelievable, but when I am, I like to use the chat up line, my third leg is the only one that works. <laughs> my, my ex-girlfriend was in the wheelchair. One good thing about it, she couldn't run away. <laughs> the reason we split up was because she was a bit older than me. She was 27. She was looking for marriage and babies. I mean, fuck me, I can't even wipe my own arms, let alone anyone else's. <laughs> this is the awkward thing about booking racks on Facebook. Profile pictures can be very deceptive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really a lonely housewife looking for love. <laughs> Stand up comedy. Well, that's a good fucking start, isn't it? <laughs> I've been in the business five minutes and I've already been in my own drawing comedy. Sit down comedy. <laughs> I used to love it when I was a kid though, especially at kids' parties, when they played musical chairs. I always won. <laughs> I have to get that one in, that's always a good one. <laughs> I have recently started learning to drive. And instead of driving with a steering wheel like everyone else, I have to drive with one of these things. It's a joystick, so, and the most confusing thing about it is, to brake I have to go forwards, and to accelerate I have to go backwards. Uh, the thing is, can you try and exp explain that to the insurance company? 
Yeah, any any modifications on the car? Yeah, I've got no steering wheel. <laughs> They're looking for alloy wheels, but fuck me. <laughs> Can you imagine when I drive past someone in the motorway? That's just gonna freak them out. <laughs> Especially when they find out I've got jerk reflex. So if anyone bibs their all of me, I'm gonna cross three legs and twerk me. <laughs> well, that's been me. You've been lovely.